internet! Today I'm going to review my two favorite games, Portal and Portal 2. Both these games mean a lot to me, so I thought, <laughs> why not spend a whole entire video talking about them? First I'm going to talk about the first Portal game. It came out a few years ago, so you know, it's kind of an old game in comparison to the ones now, but it is still very, very good. I started playing it a few months ago because my fiancé Roy recommended it to me and so I thought, why not? I wasn't sure to expect because I hadn't really heard much about it. I heard that it was a puzzle game but I wasn't sh quite sure what that meant. But the second that I got the portal gun and did my first test chamber, I knew that this was something special. It wasn't just a puzzle game, it was a lifestyle. It took me a while to get used to the test chambers and the puzzle atmosphere and the cubes and everything, but after a few test chambers I got a hang of it and it started to get really, really fun. A lot of the chambers were very difficult, but I got through them eventually. But the best part was the sort of narrator for the game, which was an AI called GLaDOS, which stands for Genetic Lifeform and Disk Operating System. And what I, be what I mean by narrator was that she talked to you throughout the entire game, made snarky comments and explained stuff to you. And she's the best part of the game series in my opinion. And near the end of the game she promises you cake which the term, the cake is a lie, is pretty much the most popular phrase from the game and even people who don't play the game know about this phrase. You find out at the end of the game this cake she promised you is a lie and she was really just trying to get you to go through the tests and then at the end she could kill you. It's not why ex what I expected, it was very scary and that's what made me like the game because it had a twist. It put a simple little puzzle game into an actual twist convoluted story and that's why I loved it. I also loved the song at the end of the game which was Still Alive which is a pretty catchy song and pretty much everyone who, even people who don't play the game know this song. And it's about GLaDOS singing about how even though you killed her she will still find a way to be alive in your life. Now I'm going to be talking about Portal 2 which is my favorite in, out of the two games. It's my favorite because it is like a million times longer of a game. It involves way more story and background and more interaction with characters and harder test chambers but harder in a fun way. It starts off with you in this hotel room kind of chamber thing where they're keeping you and this core named Wheatley rescues you and tries to help you escape the facility. Along the way you wake up GLaDOS by accident because of Wheatley's stupidity and the game kind of, you know, elaborates from there. Lots of crazy things happen, you bond with GLaDOS when she becomes a potato, you try and stop Wheatley from taking over the facility, a lot of things happen. It's much more of an involved, lengthy, amazing game than the first one. Not that the first one was amazing, but this one is just a lot better. They improved them some things, like there's no longer any timed activities. Those really irritated me in the first Portal game. I mean, the test chambers were fun, but the timed stuff really stressed me out. Overall, Portal 2 was the best game I have ever played. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it made me yell at GLaDOS when she called me fat and all the other snarky things she would say to me. It just... This game moved me and it meant a lot to me. It helped me escape my everyday life and it made me truly happy. I played it at least five times since the first time I played it several months ago, so you know it's an amazing addictive game. Even when you already know what's going to happen, you discover new things every time you play and you relive the same emotions no matter how many times you play it. GLaDOS is my favorite villain of all time and She's a villain, but she's not at the same time, because you bond with her, and she becomes your best friend. So the ending is really devastating when the part of her that loved you goes away, and you're set free, and you'll never get to see her again. Every time I watch the ending, I cry, and I'm very upset, and I don't think I'll ever get over it. There are some stories that really, really stick with you, and Portal 2 is one of them. I will never forget the ending. I will never forget how much I love GLaDOS, and I will never ever forget how much this game means to me. I know that not everyone who watches this channel plays Portal or plays video games in general, but I hope that my review and my brief summary of the games have changed your mind and made you want to play it, and I hope that the people who watch, who love Portal and Portal 2, 
I hope this has been a fun experience for, for you, that watching this video has helped you relive special moments from your, your favorite game. Last but not least, I wanted to show you some of my Portal related stuff. I have a companion cute plushie, which I got for my birthday, and I have a GLaDOS shirt that I'm wearing right now that's, that spells out her name, and I also have an inflatable giant turret, which I would show you, but I don't really feel like going, getting up right now. <laughs> well, that's all. Goodbye, Internet.